and welcome to Peru. My name is Dennis Bunnick and I'm standing in the heart of Cusco, the capital of the Incan Empire. This was the centre of their universe and this is where we start the Bunnick Tours Machu Picchu and Sacred Valley experience. The Incas were incredible people, powerful, wealthy and they've left some amazing sites for us to explore. We're going to see them all in a small group. Let's go and have some fun. Cusco is an historic city. Here you'll find Spanish churches sitting on top of Inca temples. Both these cultures still play a very important part of the daily lives of the residents of Cusco. we don't include all your meals and this is for a very important reason and that is some of the best holiday experiences are when you wander away from the group and you discover a little tavern, a little restaurant. Now our tour guides are the best in the business and they know their stuff. They'll point you in the right direction and that's how we've discovered quirky little places like this one. Cancha was the most famous and most important of all the Inca temples. It's the temple of the sun and this was the house of the sun on earth. Of course being so important to the Incas this is where the Spanish built one of their first churches. On the terraces next to Coricancha is where every June the Interami festival, a beautiful colorful festival of the Incas is held. This is Sacsayhuaman. It's the uh, largest of the Incan temples and structures around Cusco and it was built by the same king who built Machu Picchu. It's a very impressive site. The thing in Peru here, you'll find these ladies everywhere with alpacas, with llamas, and they're, uh, they're here, you can take some photos with them. But there's a trick to it. The number of people that you've got is the number of coins you need, because whilst there might be sisters here, they're certainly not gonna share. So uh, remember, lots of souls. You don't have to pay for the llamas. Or is this an alpaca? It's a llama. <laughs> So this is it, the beautiful sacred valley of the Incas. The reason why it's sacred is that the river running through the valley it lines perfectly with the Milky Way and the Incas believed that they were intricately linked, that one was a reflection of the other, heaven and earth. And this was also um, played a role in the positioning of many of the temples and, and cities within the Sacred Valley, including Machu Picchu. The Ante Tambo was always the site of an important Inca temple. However, after the fall of Cusco, it became the Inca capital. The town was fortified and this is one of the few places where the Spanish were actually defeated by the Incas in a battle. In the town itself, we can still see the Inca town planning style with narrow streets and small canals. Here, high in the Sacred Valley, we've come across Marai, which was the home of the Inca Research Laboratory, the Agricultural Research Laboratory. They used these terraces in, in circles within a natural dip in the mountain to create microclimates and to adapt their crops to the different uh, altitudes. 
very, very successful and a lot of those crops are still grown today. Anyone for salt? Pisac Ruins, we come down to Pisac Town. The town square, there's this great little market. This is the place to get all your Peruvian souvenirs, your alpaca scarves and such, and uh, to try the local empanadas. stay in the valley, we stay here. It's the Casa Andina private collection. It's a beautiful hotel right in the heart of this tranquil valley. Our journey to Machu Picchu through the sacred valley is on the Vista Dome train. We see the landscape change as we go down in elevation where suddenly it becomes far more tropical and, and denser vegetation. We follow the course of the river, we get to the town of Aquas Calientes, where we check into our hotel, the Inca Terra, a beautiful eco lodge set within a jungle setting. The final step of the journey is taking the bus up the mountains to Machu Picchu. Just a few more steps and we catch our first glimpse of the famous lost cities of the Incas. So this is it. We've made it all the way to Machu Picchu. And I can tell you, it certainly lives up to its reputation and lives up to its name as one of the wonders of the world. What you see in the pictures of classic shots, it's about this much. It is overwhelming. What gets you first of all is the sheer size of this place. And then how amazing that these, the Incas managed to build it up here. Really, pictures don't do it justice. To get the full effect, you have to come and experience it for yourself. And obviously the best way to do that is on a bunny tour, but that's a different story. stay at the Inca Terra rather than day tripping it into Machu Picchu from Cusco or from um, the Sacred Valley is that it allows you to do this, to stay after all the crowds have gone, all the day trippers have left, the end of the day when the light is beautiful, or to come back early in the morning and pay a return visit. My suggestion, find a nice quiet spot and just soak in the magic of this place. To start your own Machu Picchu experience and to see the full range of Bunnik Tours South American holidays, see your local travel agent or visit bunniktours.com.au.